Okay, so I just got to the airport here in Hawaii. I'm on my way to Thailand. I can enter Thailand. If you haven't watched my last video where I went through a bunch of struggles trying to get approved to enter the country of Thailand, you should watch that video. I actually got approved only a few hours ago. So I'm here at the airport getting ready to go check into my flight. So this video is gonna be kind of crazy. So my first flight is to Japan. And I originally booked the flight thinking it was a seven hour layover, but it's actually a 17 hour layover. I'm, out, I'm outside, I'll take this thing off. <laughs> so it's a 17 hour layover in Japan. That's kind of crazy. Then after that, I jump on another flight to Thailand. Then I go through everything you need to go through to get into the country of Thailand. Hopefully all my paperwork is in order. Then my hotel will pick me up at the airport, take me over to my quarantine hotel and get me all checked in there. And I'll show you my room, but that's gonna be the adventure today. Made it through all of the things I needed to do to check in with the airline. It actually went pretty easy, much easier than I thought. I was really organized though, so that kind of helped. And then I went through security, easy day, because I got TSA pre. The airline I'm flying on, I'm flying premium. So I have access to their lounge, but their lounge is closed due to COVID. But they made a deal with United and I can go use United's lounge. And United's lounge is like, one of the better ones anyway in this airport so it actually kind of worked out so that's where i'm headed now i actually have two hours before they board my flight so we're gonna head over to the lounge so what i love about airport lounges is they always have food this one has a decent selection mostly hawaiian style stuff so let me grab a seat here real quick and i think i'm gonna grab the mango noodles and some mango chips and salsa all right, let's head over to my flight and get to Japan. I love Japanese airlines, they're so efficient. The flight was virtually empty. This was a 747. There were maybe 70 or 80 of us on the flight. I was in premium economy and there's only like three of us there. So it was a really relaxing eight hour flight. We landed in Japan and I headed in for my 17 hour layover. Okay, <laughs> it's nice and quiet here. <laughs> I arrived in Japan. And uh, <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> I have a 17 hour layover. When I, I mentioned that earlier, but when I bought the ticket, I thought it was a seven hour layover. I'm usually pretty good at like <laughs> having, you know, keeping myself, um, you know, getting the most efficient flight. I don't know, it must have been a deal or something. But yeah, so I have a 17 hour layover. So I'm gonna go try to check into the transit hotel which they have in here no okay so <laughs> that's a total fail the transit hotel appears to be closed which really sucks i'm gonna go see if i can find another one i really don't want to sleep on a floor tonight Okay, so no transit hotels are open because of COVID. I do have priority pass lounge access. I also get access with my, um, my airline ticket as well. However, it's the 14th in the evening. My flight is not until the 15th in the morning and you can't use lounges except for on the day of your flight. <laughs> so I'm um, hoping they let me use it at midnight. I probably should have asked them that. Can I come back at midnight? So it's about 6 p.m. here in Japan. So I have another at least six hours till then. And it's like 11 p.m. where I flew from. So I'm pretty tired. But luckily, you know, it's Japan. So everything is super, super nice. <laughs> And uh, I'm basically the only person at the airport right now. So kind of have the whole place to myself. <laughs> Just me and like five security guards. It's like um, almost four in the morning. I've been bouncing from area to area uh, here in the airport. <laughs> Trying to get a little bit of sleep. Um, I found out that I can get into the lounge at 5 a.m. So... My flight boards at 10.20, so I'll have a good five hours inside the lounge, which hopefully will be a little bit more comfortable than these seats. Uh, all right. 
We're gonna try to find another place to lay down for a minute. I feel like I'm in one of those night at the museum moments. I found this massage chair. <laughs> it's 200 yen. I don't even know what that is in US dollar, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> uh. Finally, 5 a.m. hit. I headed over to the lounge. Luckily, they had a shower, which was awesome. After eight hours of flying and 12 hours of sleeping in the airport. Whew. Okay. Got a shower room, which is awesome. I don't know if you can see this, but it's pretty amazing. Got the uh, typical Japanese toilet here with all the whiz bangs. A really nice shower area. This is why I'm such a huge proponent of credit card point systems, because you get access to different lounges. This is a Priority Pass lounge. So uh, it's the a a lounge in Tokyo Airport. It's pretty awesome. I'll show you around the lounge in a minute after I take a shower. Most airport lounges overseas are pretty amazing, but Japanese airport lounges are usually next level. They have showers like I showed you earlier. They have these cool little booths that you can hang out in. I did for like five hours. And they had these Japanese style appetizers that were awesome. So I just relaxed here until it was time to go catch my flight to Bangkok. Just like my flight from Honolulu to Bangkok, not having any people on the flight, made it pretty relaxing. The flight attendants took care of us because there was about as many flight attendants as people on board. And six hours later, I was in Bangkok and ready to go through the administrative nightmare that is Bangkok immigration. So I didn't really know what to expect when I landed in Bangkok. I watched a lot of YouTubers who had went through this immigration process during quarantine and I saw all these blue chairs in the video and in most cases it was, or at least it seemed like it was a nightmare. In my case, it went really quick. They looked at my paperwork, they said, okay, you're good to go. And then they lined me up outside and shoved me inside my private vehicle to my hotel. Okay, so we are in the van headed towards uh, my hotel. It wasn't too bad. Okay, I don't need a key. No, the door is open already. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that was so weird. I'm just going up to room 902. The door's open. Ready for me? That was check-in. I don't know how much of that you got, but yeah, that was really odd, so. <laughs> Okay, a couple things I want to point out on the way to my room. So if you look at the floor, you'll see it looks kind of like wood, but it's really plastic. I'm assuming there's some carpet underneath here. This stuff runs all the way to my room as well. You'll notice this guy here, he's got this orange spray bottle. He's spraying disinfectant on the floor. So with the disinfectant and the plastic, it's slippery everywhere. But, you know, they're trying to be extra careful. I get it. A little room tour. One of the biggest reasons I got this room is it's all windows here. So I can at least kind of feel like I'm outside. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love studio apartments. So that's what I wanted. I wanted a studio apartment with one wall of all windows. So I had plenty of sun shining in on me so I could get through this 14 days. And that's what I ended up with here. A studio apartment with a big giant window and it came with a small refrigerator, some water, some snacks, 
a bunch of coffee and tea inside here. We've got some chocolate, some Pepsi and 7-Up. I'm sure I'll drink that even though I'm trying to break my soda habit. But I don't think they ref uh, refill that thing. So I should be good to go. There's a little desk area behind here. And then when you make your way towards the front door, there's a closet here to the right. It's plenty big for, you know, two weeks. It's great. There's lots of extra towels and a bathrobe and all that kind of stuff in here as well. And then behind me here is the bathroom. It's a pretty nice bathroom. It's better than most Thai bathrooms because they have the shower not on top of the toilet, which is great. I, I prefer that. And it's got the typical Thai bum gun to the left there. I don't know if you can see that. Plenty of toilet paper, obviously. Yeah, there's the bum gun and a nice little shower. You can actually adjust that shower head and it makes kind of a rainfall shower. So perfect for me. There's a little bench in here too, but I think it's the wrong way. It should be on the other side. doesn't help being right up against the shower like that. And then got a bunch of toiletries and all that stuff that I'll need to survive for um, 14 days. Yeah, so that's the apartment. If you enjoyed this video, enjoyed me, Head in here to Thailand, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you like travel content, you're excited to see more Thailand, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you next week.